The annual celebration of the armed forces means many small businesses are getting more visitors this weekend. KPIX 5's Betty Yu stopped by two very busy local spots, getting a major boost from all of the festivities. On Saturday, you'll hear the roar of jets across San Francisco. Already, many local businesses are taking advantage of the big crowds. <laughs> Cayo Rooftop on 3rd Street is completely full Friday evening, and that will also be the case this weekend. The newly opened restaurant and bar is celebrating its first fleet week with live music, American-themed cocktails, a prefix lunch, and spectacular views. It's already sold out of its ticketed options. Word of mouth goes very far around San Francisco, so everyone's just super excited to like see the space. Rooftop bars and restaurants aren't, they're becoming more of a thing now, but it's exciting to be one of the newer, just pop in spots. Bartenders and servers were constantly on the move, serving up Peruvian and Japanese cuisine. Los Altos resident Marianne Troxel plans to check out the SS O'Brien on Saturday with family and friends. It's very exciting because there's been so much negativity talking about the city and it's really cool to see everyone coming here and being so enthusiastic about Fleet Week and the city. In North Beach, there was about an hour and 40 minute wait for a table at Tony's Pizza Napolitana. It's great because not only do we get the influx of the military in, which is always great, but we also get the influx of people coming in to see the show. And then it's like, it's it's funny, it's like, you know, the city is like waking up again and without coronavirus, so I'm wearing the mask for personal reasons, but uh, people aren't having to wear masks anymore, so people can just like go out and really enjoy themselves. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.